Hi and welcome students. In this video I'm going to be talking to you about PDF files. I'm going to talk to you about what they are, what they're used for, and how you can create your own PDF files on your computer. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that you need to know is what it stands for, which is Portable Document Format. It's a very common file type on a computer and it uses the PDF file extension. Well now that you know that, what are the documents actually used for? The main thing is they preserve the layout, formatting, fonts, and images within the document. So basically why this is good is you can create a document and you know that that document is going to look the same regardless of any computer that the person is using. So they could be using a Windows PC, a Mac, an iPad, any other tablet, or even a mobile device and the PDF is going to look exactly the same. That's why it's really good for sending documents that you don't want to be altered. Okay, so PDF is not primarily used for editing. Content can't be changed easily and and the good thing is you pretty much don't need the Adobe program to actually view a PDF file. Most internet browsers have free viewers on them. So if you're in Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox, chances are you'll be able to open a PDF directly from your internet browser. So opening PDF files, as I said, you can do it straight from your browser or you can use a program called Adobe Acrobat Reader. Now Adobe Acrobat Reader is free and available to download. Chances are if you've been using a computer for a while, you know about this and you have probably already have it downloaded on your computer. But if not, it's a free download that you can go ahead and uh, just do a Google search for and you'll be able to find it without a problem. So let's talk about opening up PDF files. So whenever you open up a PDF file, it's going to look like the window that you see here. Okay, now this is a slightly older version of Adobe PDF, but the uh, same icons still remain. Now within a PDF, you may find that you uh, are able to edit some information. These are called form fields. So if you have, if you see a form field, like on this W4 form, uh, you can see that you could actually fill out certain sections of the form. So Adobe PDF PDF can be used for editing, but again, it's usually in the form of form fields. All right, so the next thing that you need to know about Adobe PDF is that uh, you can create uh, PDF files from your PC or from your Mac. All right, if you're using Windows 10, when you go to print out any type of document, you could use PDF as a printer. So you just change the, PD, uh, the printer to PDF and, and it will create a PDF file. Uh, within Microsoft Office, you could actually go to the File tab, and if you click Export, it'll say Create PDF slash XPS, and you can go in and uh, create a PDF file. Now, you might be wondering, why would I not just send it in Microsoft Word? Well, the reasoning for that is, well, if you send, say, your resume in Microsoft Word, well, whoever gets your resume, what happens if they don't have Microsoft Word? then they might not be able to open up that file. So instead, you send it as a PDF and you know that they're gonna be able to open it up. Uh, also, it preserves, again, the document formatting, so you know that your resume is not going to end up with any formatting or font errors. So the last uh, one here that I have is a Mac, and you can actually create a PDF on a Mac as well. It's also within the print dialog box, and if you use the PDF menu, then uh, that will allow you to uh, change it to a PDF. So hopefully this video has taught you about that PDF file extension and what it's used for. Again, think of it as a way to preserve your document formatting so that your document looks the same no matter what device anyone is using. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.